Hello and welcome to this week's uh, beer of the week. Uh, this beer today comes from a brewery in Helsinki. It's called Stadin Pamino, which means downtown brewery. And the brewery, in fact, is right in downtown Helsinki. It's uh, one of the older craft breweries in Finland. Uh, dates back to 1998, which makes it uh, one of the forums of the craft beer revolution, which also took place in Finland. Finland was quite early uh, in the European context, I mean, compared to Germany, for example. Because beer is expensive in Finland, and so people said, well, if we have to pay a lot for beer, why not pay beer, uh, let's start over again. Hello and welcome to Konrad Seidel's Beer of the Week. Today's beer is uh, a beer called American Pale Ale. Uh, that comes from Finland, from Stadin Pamino, which means downtown brewery. The brewery in fact is in downtown Helsinki and um, they've been quite early uh, in adapting modern craft brewing. You know Finland is a country that um, has very expensive beers, high tax on beer, which on the other hand means that people said well if we have to pay a lot for beer why not buy good beer for that good money? So the Finns, they were early in uh, creating beer festivals and in creating great beers. Here this beer is brewed to an American recipe. It's uh, oh oh oh. Ah that was that was a lot huh? Well Shit happens, but uh, the beer is good. You can see it in the glass. It's an unfiltered beer, and um, well, it has this extremely hoppy touch to it. It's very fruity, and it has good body. Not a lot of bitterness. And um, well, it's refreshing. It's uh, 35 IBUs and only 4.5% alcohol. So it's an easy drink in summer ale. And we hope that summer will come and that uh, maybe the confinements due to the corona crisis will be over. And maybe we can spend the summer outside with a good beer from Finland. Or maybe in Finland. If we're allowed to travel. We don't know yet, but we know that there's more and more good beers to be experienced. So join me again next week for another Conrad Seidel's Beer of the Week. And I try not to spill too much of that one.